Sophia here for my great challenge welcome back to my channel if you remember a few weeks ago I did a review for the seasonal a vacuum cleaner the robot vacuum and I guess they really really liked the review and they wanted me to review another item for them and I have to tell you I love it just as much so I'm going to review the seasonal tea kettle and if you know me you know I'm a fanatic when it comes to tea. I'm really picky. I drink a lot of tea. I drink at least two to three cups every single day. Mostly black tea. My favorite one is Earl Grey and I have to tell you this has been a life changer for me for many many reasons. So stick around. I'm gonna give you a really good review and have a cup of tea. I gotta tell you I never heard of the brand before they sent me that vacuum and they really do make good product this is an electric tea kettle so it's not just like an electric kettle where you would regularly um, you know boil your water it also has the tea infuser and I'm gonna pull it out so you can see it it's right here all right so I'm definitely gonna demo it you're gonna see how it works one of the things I want to do is compare the length of time it takes to boil the water in there versus my regular kettle because here's the problem when I want tea I have to put the water in the kettle then I have to turn on the gas then I have to wait for the kettle to whistle then I can pour myself a cup of tea and then it basically goes cold because I'm not reheating it and this gizmo right here allows me not only to boil the water really really fast it allows me to steep the tea as much as I want if I want it light if I want it dark I can lower and move the basket up and down but it also has a 60 minute warming plate and that is a life changer for me because when I'm here in the kitchen and I'm editing a video for YouTube very often I have my cup right next to me and what ends up happening is that my tea gets cold and I'm constantly having to get up reheat the water try to get another tea or either pour out the one that I was drinking that got cold or I have to take it and put it in the microwave it's a lot of back and forth and it's really inconvenient so they have this gizmo here that allows me to just have as much tea as I want I'm gonna give you all the specs that you need I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna tell you all the reason why you need your own okay let me start so first of all this is all stainless steel the base here, you can see, um, is a 360 degree base. So if I put my kettle and it's gonna light up, okay, that tells me that power is on. Uh, I can pick it up from any angle I want. So that's really practical. If you have it on the table as a buffet, um, part of a party or something, anybody on either side of the table can grab it. So this is really, really cool. So I'm gonna take it off the base and I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know. So here you have the handle with of course the um, power on and off. This is your temperature control. You can move your temperature up or down. It goes from 105 degree Fahrenheit to 212 degree Fahrenheit. So if you are a tea connoisseur like me, you know that not all teas get to be brewed at the same temperature okay i give you an example i drink earl grey mostly that's a black tea black tea has to brew between 194 degrees and 212 degrees if you have a uh, herbal tea it would be just about the same green tea however you need 176 to 185 so green tea doesn't require as hot the water and you see that's the problem when you use a tea kettle like this is that you get to boiling point and regardless of whether you're doing green tea or you're doing a black tea you're always gonna have the same temperature and really if you want the best boost of flavor for your tea as well as all of the benefits you need to have the proper temperature for your tea this is 1500 watts boiling it has 100% uh, stainless steel, I told you that. This is borosilicate tempered glass, so this is not going to break, explode, crack or whatever. Of course, if I was to bang it, it would, but we're taking care of that, we're not, you know, and it's BPA free. 
The full capacity is 1.7 liters, which is the equivalent of six to seven cups worth of tea. So this is the top, right? And I'm gonna show you how this actually, oops, goes up and down. So if you don't wanna brew your tea right away, you can just keep that up. And then when the water boils or is at the temperature that you want, you're just going to basically press this this way and then you can just turn it i'll show you when we have tea in there you can turn it back and forth to agitate it or you can go up and down and then when you have the amount that you want or the color that you want you just bring it back up and you can leave all the water with your tea inside the kettle and it will remain again warm for 60 minutes so i'm going to drink this tea today this is mariage frère earl grey d'or this is one of my favorite um, alongside the Nina. So again, tea is very subjective. Some people like it very dark, some people like it light. You have this stainless steel macro mesh little uh, container here. And I have 1.5 liter in there, so that's about five cups. And I need one scoop per cup. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and just a little bit more because I like my Earl Grey a little bit dark so then you just replace this throw it on it's very well made it feels very sturdy okay I have exactly 1.5 liter in both a kettle so let's see how fast I can get this kettle to boil the water as opposed to this one Okay, you guys, um, water is at 205 and it's boiling. It's ready for my tea. And over here, we're not moving. <laughs> I don't even think I got uh, heat coming out yet. Nah, let me open it. Let's see. Nah, look, you see, it's been running and we started at 7. It took uh, 20, yeah, we started at 7. It took literally three minutes to boil water. So my water is boiled and let's just go ahead and make some tea. So you see, it literally just took three minutes to boil 1.5 liters worth of water and my kettle was nowhere near getting ready for tea. So I'm just going to go ahead and plunge my tea in there and I'm gonna turn it a little bit. You can go up and down if you want. I personally prefer to turn it uh, back and forth and you can just leave it like that and steep for as long as you want because once you get the right color, depending on your taste in tea, then you can just lift it right back up. You don't have to worry about your tea getting too dark. just love this tea kettle I really do so I just showed you you can boil a liter and a half worth of water in just about three minutes nowhere near what this tea kettle can do and I can actually touch this right now and it's still not it's hot but it's not hot as I would want to so it definitely cuts in time um, in order to boil tea or make tea then because you can lift the basket you know sometimes i make myself a teapot and the tea leaves end up being there and they're just steeping way too long and my tea ends up being very bitter by the time i get to pour another cup um, this will warm your tea again for 60 minutes 
You can put tea bags instead of loose leaf if you want in the little basket. You can put flower tea. Some folks do um, instant coffee. I've tried to do regular coffee, re regular ground coffee, and there was a little bit of uh, ground all over the place. So it's not ideal for coffee, but if you want to do instant coffee, you can just put your Nescafe or whatever it is that you use in terms of ground um, instant coffee inside that little basket and just dip it and you have your coffee made. And again, it keeps it warm. So. I'm going to start a big debate as to whether Earl Grey is better with lemon or milk. You saw that I put milk. All of you in the UK probably were horrified at the sight. That's the way I drink it. I love it with milk. I like it with lemon too, but milk is definitely the way I will drink it. And look at this piping hot cup of tea. It's actually too hot for me. So I'm going to just put it like this and let it um, aerate and cool down a little bit and I'm going to tell you the one thing I do not like about this product because I want to be honest and there's always going to be something that is not perfect. All right? As much as I love the tea kettle, I feel that the cord is too short. <laughs> it really is because if I'm working on my computer here, I cannot have the tea kettle next to me. I would have to put an extension. The cord is only about this long, kind of like a toaster. All right? So um, I get it. It's a counter appliance. You're going to put it somewhere in your kitchen and you're going to leave it there. It's not going to move anywhere. But for me, I need it to be able to move wherever I need it. Like for instance, uh, if I'm quilting downstairs, or if I'm at my computer here in the kitchen, or if Scott wants to do whatever, you know, um, hot tea as well, up in the office, we need the cord to be longer. So maybe that's something says no one to keep in mind. The cord could be a little bit longer, I'd say two feet. Okay, other than that, this product receives five stars from me. I love it. I really do. I'm going to have tea probably for the next hour and a half because my tea is not going to get cool. I'm going to be able to continue to pour tea in my cup. If I wanted to, I could add the milk directly into the kettle um, after I have steeped my tea. I think this is a fabulous product. I think this would make a fantastic gift for anybody you know or yourself who's a tea lover. It's under $50. If there is a coupon code, I will let you know down below. I'm reaching out to the company right now to see if I can get you a coupon code like I did for the robot vacuum. Until then, let me tell you, get yourself one of those. I think, again, it's great. It's practical. It's super easy to clean. It's very easy to rinse. And then the um, steeper itself, the basket, you just put it underneath your faucet in the kitchen. You uh, empty out, you know, you take, you unscrew it, take the leaves, put them in your garden, right? Or you can put them into the trash and then rinse it, dry it up, and that's about it. It's compact, it doesn't take a lot of room, um, it's very well made, and it's super practical. Again, five stars from me. Thank you, Cisno, for sending me this product. I hope I can get you guys a coupon code. Either way, I still think it's very affordable for what it is, and it's saving me a ton of time and headache when I'm doing tea time. I talk to you later. Big thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner if you don't want to miss another review or any of my other videos. Until next time, thank you for watching, you guys. Bye!